Hey guys, what's going on? Timpers here, back with another Photoshop tutorial and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a clean looking 2D banner on Photoshop. This is actually my second Photoshop, I've not... That's my second Photoshop tutorial. Um, I've not really done much but the last Photoshop tutorial that I did was a Minecraft banner and you guys really liked that one. It gave me a lot of great support so I'm back doing another one and I'll be doing a series on this so you guys need to stay tuned I'll be doing one every week hopefully maybe even like maybe like twice a week something like that along with the speed arts and stuff so stay tuned guys and let's get into the video so first of all you want to go to your background and make it like a offset white colour so you want to just fill that in so it's an offset white, then make a new layer and then go for like a grey and then you want to add some like shadows instead of just being like a white make a bit more so like that, that looks pretty good so far and then go for an even darker colour and then go to the sides of the banner and then add like, like that so that's looking good so far so that's basically it for the background and then you want to go to place and then get your actual background that you're going to be using so I'm using like a city wallpaper you guys can use whatever you want for this so let's resize it so I'm going to put mine mm. yeah I'll have mine like that so once you've done that you want to go to control U and then drop down the saturation and then drop down the opacity to about 25, 25% once you've done that add a new layer then go to white and add a bit of light at the top just like that oh yeah guys sorry about my mouse or keyboard they're both like kind of broken quite loud so sorry about that I'll try and get a new one for the next video but anyway once you've done that add a new layer again and then I'm gonna make mine like in like a like green turquoise colour blue whatever so like the one that I've got at the moment it's like greeny colour and then do that drop down the opacity that's looked good, that looks very good so far. And then um, you want to get your logo. If you don't have a logo, then you can skip this part, but just get the logo. So, there we go. Got my logo. And then you want to just place it right in the middle. Like so. And rasterize it and then once you've done that you can change the colour of it so I'm going to go to gradient and then like a blue slash turquoise colour like so, so yeah and then uh, once you've done that go to satin and then drop that down to about about 20 and then once you've done that, add a drop shadow, bring the distance to zero, spread to about 15, and the size to about 15 as well. And then I don't know what this is. I'll just get rid of this. Second, right. I'm just gonna have to leave that there. I don't know what that is, but anyway. So now you've got that, you can go to filter, distort, ripple, and then add a bit of ripple so it looks a bit liquidy. You can't really tell right now, but it's not as sharp, which makes it a lot better. Then you want to duplicate it again, then go to the bottom one. Filter, blur, and motion blur. 
but you want to get rid of drop shadow for the bottom one. So yeah. Once we've done that, you can now add the text. So I'm just going to put Tempest Designs. And change it to yeah. I'm just going to leave it. Hmm. I might like just change it to like darker green. Or a dark grey. A dark grey looks good. And then I'm going to resize it. In fact, I'll put hype to the you know, because I've just drawn hype, so. You can do whatever you want with the text. I think this looks pretty good. Like that. And then you can change you can change the colour of the text. Let me change the colour of height. So highlight. And then boom. Like this. so. Then you want to group them both. And then drop shadow, but change the drop shadow to white, then change it to normal. Like so, and drop down the opacity. So, once you've done that, you can duplicate the text, filter, and then blur, and then motion blur. You don't want it too blurry. And drop down the opacity. So now I've got the text. Just group them two together like so. And then you can just put it where you can. You could put it at the bottom. I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna leave it at the side. Right here. And then once you've done that, you can. Uh, you can put social media at the side. So let's do that. Let's get it. So, place, let's just put Twitter. So it's got, I'm going for a clean design here, so no, I don't really want too much stuff on it. Right, so, colour overlay, I'm just going to have a dark grey to match the text. And then one more, I'll choose Skype. So make sure it's the same size as the Twitter logo and then just put it a bit below. So once you've done that, you can group them all together. And you can make it bigger or smaller, make it, just leave it the same. And then when, once you've done that, you can add like a drop shadow to it all. Real. You can move into the middle if you want, do whatever you want. So that's what it looks like so far. And once you've done that, add a new layer and then go f to like a blue. You can do whatever you want, it's just like an overlay colour. So blue and a red pinky colour. And then you can change this to overlay and then drop down the opacity. And then once you've done that, if you don't already have this, this is my pack. I think I've done a video of, of this so you can download that. 
You want to go to the flares and then drag that in. Just resize it a bit. And then change the color of that slide. Just mess around with it, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, once you've done that, you can you can put like something like be sure to subscribe. Change it to like a white, and then change the subscribe to like a green color to match the logo. place that right in the middle. So once you've done all this, oh wait. Drop shadow doesn't look right really. Alright, let's leave it like that. Um, once you've done that, you can add a new layer and then add like a bar at the bottom. So, I'm just going to do this quick. You can do whatever you want with it. It's doing anything right here. So, once you've done that, fill the path. Change it to white, and then just lower the opacity of the bar. Yeah, that's sort of, just leave it like that if you want. And then flip it. And then you just got like a cool little bar at the bottom, just fills up the space and makes it a lot cleaner and makes it focus right in the middle. And then once you've done that, add a new layer again. And then go to like a black. And then make it look like it's fading in, so we'll just do like a little dot. If you want you can like you can do this. Go to the pen tool and then you want like a, a light source coming in onto the logo so like make a triangle and then fill that in with white and then change it to overlay. And then drop down the opacity a bit. So then once you've done that, you want to make it look like it's fading in. So do this. And if you want you can rub out the sides so it's not as sharp. Looks a lot better. So that's like a little light source that you can do. And then I'm just like doing stuff like to make it look a lot better. And then you can do this if you want. It's like your box around the social media. Like so. And change that to black. Like so. And then you need to drop that down below all that stuff and then change it to overlay and then once you've done that 
double click, add a stroke. So I'm just going to choose black. You can also add a gradient if you want, and then lower down the opacity. You can do whatever you want. And then lower down the whole opacity of the whole thing. So. Mm. You don't have to do that actually, I just did something random to make it look better, but obviously it doesn't. You could just put stay connected above it. So. So that's pretty good so far. And then finally, add another. Oh, you could also do this if you want. I've got a, like a brush pack called Fractal. You might not have it, but if you do, you can use it. Just get like whatever colour you want. I'm just gonna choose. I'm gonna choose this pink right here, and then just do like a couple of this. and then you can drop down the opacity of that. Just like it's a bit more of a texture to the background. So yeah, that's basically it. It's just a clean 2D banner. Really simple, really easy. Anybody can do this. It's just very easy. But yeah. Um, if you guys want to see some more tutorials like this, or like if you want to see a tutorial on a poster, a thumbnail, whatever you want, just comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe. And also subscribe to Hype Militia. They're almost at 2k, or they might be at 2k, I don't know. Depends what time the video goes up. But yeah, subscribe to them, subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys later.